Hi guys, I'm going on a dive tomorrow really early in the morning, which quite frankly I really hate, but sometimes you gotta do it. Still, I have to pack everything tonight so I can leave really early tomorrow in the morning. Just to pack in this and that, but then I think I have everything. So I guess everything is packed and we can go. Now I forgot one very important part of my equipment. Just a second. Make sure you have this one everywhere you go diving. Well, I really hate getting up early. One very, very important thing in technical diving, but as well in just easy recreational diving is preparation. You really need to be prepared uh, for, for the dive, for everything that might come across you. Sun is coming out anyway. Ah, much better. So yeah, planning is very important. And the dive plan itself contains some very important steps. And I would like to talk about one of, in my opinion, most important steps of dive preparation, of dive planning. And first, we need to go to the lake. <laughs> to make our dives as safe as possible. However, I see very often that one thing is forgotten and that is gas analysis. And this is what we need this for. <laughs> My gas analyzer. And I cannot emphasize this enough and tell people to analyze your gases. Never dive any unanalyzed gases and never dive unmarked tanks. I know that a gas analyzer costs some money, but it may save your life one day. If you just don't dive trimix, you don't dive helium mixes, you can just use uh, some sort of simple uh, gas analyzer that is just capable of analyze oxygen content. So before I use the tank, I use just simple duct tape to mark the tank. Just rip off a bit of the tape, stick it to my tank, and I stick it on this position of the tank you can see here. So the opening of the valve is here, because underwater I have the tank on the left side, and I really want to see this label underwater, or be able to see it underwater when the tank is on this side, fixed uh, to my harness. Oh man, that wasn't the smartest idea. 
I just wet everything dirty. So before I go diving, I just use the analyzer, turn it on, and maybe you hear it. Can you hear the clicking sound? So this is uh, a sign that this analyzer can analyze helium mixes. Because the helium mix is analyzed acoustically, it reads the speed of sound, and we know the speed of sound is depending on the density of the gas. So with a lower density, helium has a lower density than nitrogen, with a lower density, um, the speed of sound is faster, and this thing can detect it and can, uh, can calculate the amount of helium from that. You really have to make sure that the oxygen sensor is working well because usually after a year or two they tend to uh, become really old and the measurements are not really accurate then. It's quite simple, you just open the valve a bit until you hear it very very slightly and then you can hold it to the valve. I see my mixture is 52.3, a bit more than I expected. And now it's going down because, yeah, the oxygen is coming out of the, uh, of the analyzer. Very important point, the oxygen cell measures partial pressure. So if you're opening it very far like this, there builds up pressure inside the analyzer and uh, the analyzer reads higher oxygen values than there are in reality. This is why just a professional flow limiter like this really helps to get a constant uh, slow flow uh, and this makes the, uh, the measurement much more accurate. So after I analyze the gas, I note down the result of my analysis to that tape, the date, of today and my signature ah. oh man guys starting really really being really windy anyway why do I think that gas analysis is so important seriously there are only a few things that can really kill you fast in diving, especially in technical diving, and one of these things is unanalyzed gas. A high oxygen partial pressure can be really dangerous and really deadly. I always tell my students to analyze the gases even if they just go diving with air and they are 100% sure that they just filled air. Why do I do that? Because you cannot really be sure until you really analyze. The point is, even if you filled just air in your tanks, you don't know if you go to the filling station, if they mix something up, if they accidentally filled oxygen or they just closed the manifold or some crazy shit happens and some crazy shit really happened to people I knew and some of them, sorry for them, really some of them are dead now. That's really why I urge everyone to analyze the gases very carefully and never dive unanalyzed gases. And very often still people taking a class with me and I really really tell them to analyze the gases and a couple of weeks later I meet these guys at at the lake or somewhere at the diving spot and I see them diving unanalyzed gases and I, I don't really get it. So please 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 do me a favor and get some kind of gas analyzer even if it's just a simple model that's not too expensive i think the the simple models are around a hundred bucks or something like that and in comparison to what a gas filling costs especially if, if you're talking about trimix then this is basically nothing and it can save your life i always say that no one ever in history of mankind died of 
too much analyzing, but there are many people who died of too little analyzing. So please tell me, do you analyze your guesses every time you go diving, even if you're just diving air or you are 100% sure what's in your tanks? Do you analyze it or don't you? diving uh, it was awesome uh, the weather wasn't too good but uh, most of the day it was dry it was a bit windy relatively cold still it's March so what can you expect um, after a while some nice traffic diving I, I like that place really and I think I will return anyway very often people start breathing oxygen mixes beyond the safe limits of these mixes just because they are not aware what they have in their tanks and I personally know uh, at least three people that had accidents some of them really severely had accidents uh, and the very reason was they were not aware what was in their tanks they switch to the wrong gas doing a gas switch. Still even in recreational diving this is a thing and even in recreational diving people uh, should be really aware of what they have in their tanks and I, I can remember not once that I sent people back uh, out of the water when we were all waiting in the water and they came uh, because I couldn't see the gas analysis sticker on the tank and quite frankly just use tanks that have the analysis sticker on the tank because it's very easy to mix up tanks and you think you know what you measured you analyzed the gas and it was correct and you really think that you know 100% you're 100% sure what's in the tank but I seriously I uh, I know people that had some crazy mixes in the tanks although they were 100% sure and this is really dangerous this is really something you should not allow to happen still it was a very nice day today and I'm very happy that you guys spent the day with me uh, on this channel I do a lot of instructional videos um, maybe I start a bit more vlog style videos like today and I do a lot of gear reviews so if you like to see 
more of my content, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell and watch my other videos. See you there.